There's a rabbit alley. I'm going to get a little bit closer here. All right, so she's very, very platform for it. She will go there as a default. And I'm seeing where if you did that with them from when they were a puppy, and then they had their own little furniture or something in the house, they would go there. And she does have a, and this is what I want you guys to understand. You know, if you said, how do we correct her jumping? It's so deeply entrenched. We can only try to fill in the trench. That's what you have to think of. You know, we're not going to correct it. It's been reinforced. If I stand just a little farther, she can't do it. And then that triggers something in you. Uh, it just, it's not good. Ah, so I've got my dumbbells. I'm going to I'm just gonna add a second location. I'm not really gonna try to get her to do it by hand signals or anything. She's terribly clever. She is terribly clever. So you do want to add that, and that's where people go wrong because they laugh at the wrong things. They laugh at the wrong things, and then. Well, those are things they at, which were funny the first time, but later, not so much. All right, so I can do a little walking with my pager. I've got my dog for IQ, and I can just load my pager with a little bit of motion. So all I do is, is add it when my back is turned. So I just bumped the pager and headed back for the platform. So same thing, I can bump it and head away. back to make sure I was coming. But then she went, and, and you know, I'm not saying anything. 
Kara's like, what about the commands? But yeah, and it's hard to understand. Um, but if there's no behavior there, there's like so, someone telling me to do something in a foreign language that I don't understand. I hear it, but you know, I don't take any action because I don't have any idea what they're talking about. So there's my default down. All right, so I'm gonna bump my pager. about her Kara and you've got to be careful you know we got to be careful that the kids didn't ever like try to get the toys and stuff she's already got that behavior and we don't ever want her trying to pull that on us Allie because you know then she's just it becomes a dynamic where they think they have to guard things from you the things that you gave them I mean, people call me and say, oh, we gave it a new, this is a very common one. We got it a new rawhide. And then when we went to take it away, <laughs> you know, that didn't go good. Yikes. All right, so I'm gonna have my, I'm just, honestly, I'm gonna add a little precursor of the hand signal, then I'm gonna turn my back and do the pager. my arm movement. And if they pick up on these things, they can tell when someone's walking in a hurry. So, you, you know, you want to exploit that. And anything that they already know. And so if I stand back here, yay. That might be my best bet. This may be a good way to teach them not to jump if they just don't have any success and a few mishaps. You know, and she probably could knock a kid over. I don't know, small dogs can knock over people just by running into them from their knees in the back from what I've seen. All right, watch, there's my hand signal. So I'm adding my pager at both places away and, and you want to do that. I mean, you want the pager. Again, it's not a correction, so it's not something. You know that we're trying to say. I didn't even have to use. You're, you're actively trying to make it part of the dynamic. So, all right, I'm just going to do one more little. She's so eager to fetch. You know, and that's if we if we said Kara. You know, what is her favorite things? Fetching and treats. So we have to be able to provide that. Yay. Oh, she just looks like a little champion when she does that. I think I'm gonna make a. I think I'm gonna make a video of her doing that. I'm gonna get the phone and. All right, so she should default to laying down. All right, look, now I'm gonna do my guarding behavior. You know, but she's to the point now, she's starting to pick up, you know, she's starting to pick up other things. So I'll put both of these ones. rolled away. I don't know if she can find it, but we'll see. So she gives it to me, then she defaults to the down. Let's see if she'll go look. She saw it. I'm going to tell you what might make her go over there. I don't know what happened to her. Molly! Oh, you know what? Let's see. I bet I'm gonna see if I can will Bernie to pick it up. If 
I can do this. I need my guarding behavior. This is what I do all day. If Shoe Bottom was here, she'd get it, but she get she knows. Shoe Bottom now knows she can't even come out for this anymore. He's taking over the whole place. Right, I'm gonna tell you how I can probably get her to go get it. Just by putting something else in the uh, I don't know if retreat, I don't know if you're there, Mark, but you know, I don't know if these retriever guys, do they still carry uh, a pocket full of marbles to throw when they don't see it? Because that's what those guys do. They throw marbles to make a splash by the thing to help the dog see it. So this is kind of that. If I'm good, if I can throw it. Not that good. Yay! I got it the right distance, though, so... What does Crash do when you're not doing anything with her? She walks around in the garage looking for any crumbs that spilled. She goes by all the cages, by all the dogs, and, you know, kind of aggravates all of them by searching around to see within, you know, the process of their sloppy eating that, you know, one piece of food is falling. That's what she does all day. So, I, you know, to her, I talked her through it, and you know, you've got to be able to. I talked her through it. Hey, girl! Oh, she's absolutely brilliant. We're just gonna have to have these little games and stuff to do with her. But we'll get the kids doing it, you know, and you see how she goes to that platform. We need to have something as similar to this as possible. You know, we've got to make accommodations. Dogs are a pain, they're a pain. So, you know, our job is to make them less of a pain. So, this is what she does. When I let her outside, I've got a platform inside, and she runs directly and gets on it. If you said, what, did the, what would the alternative be? Well, when you open the door, she would jump all over you like a hysterical maniac. So, that's been replaced now by at least running and getting on this platform, because you're not gonna collect the jumping. It's entrenched. I just want you to understand that. It's, it's not even a habit. It's entrenched. All right, so let me get her to lay down. So if we had some place. In the house. That was just hers. That we made it a point. They're going to start defaulting to hanging out there. You know, I don't know if you've. Look online, there's that, that thing right there, the climb. I don't even recommend it, but it's so hideous. <laughs> I don't know why people would want that in their house. And if they made it at least wood grain look, that'd be cute. Uh, oh, hi, Ryan. Anyway, but you see how she, you know, feels that's, you know, that's a place of success. She's not being made to stay there by corrections. I made her believe that that's, you know, that's the best place to hang out. And something's going to happen from there, you know. Right, look, now she's worried about this dog. 
You know, but if she had some place, and you know, all I've got to do is act like I'm going over there. You know, and I do. I don't want, she's too big to be in your lap. She needs to understand if you sit down, that that's her role. And I think it's important to understand you guys that dogs lay down all the time anyway. People just get on the wrong timeline so it just has a lot of frenetic behavior around them. You know, there's kids like that too. If they get around certain people, you know, they're all wired up and all, you know. So it's, it's the same thing. All right, look, she's very worried about this dog. She's keeping tabs on him is what she's doing. She's very concerned. She's gonna try to guard the, not me, the treats. I don't want you to worry about the running off thing anymore. That's going to be gone. OMG. Skylar peed on it. She, yeah, I was going to say, she just had to run over there after that. You know, but that's what we want. That's, you know, her, she's got a sense of security, Kara, because she is a nervous type dog. You know, so she's kind of leaning on me, but she's not scratching me all up with her claws and, you know, desperately trying to get in your lap because... The other thing I'm working on with her is she does, I put smaller dogs on a crate at a higher level because it forces you to pick them up and it forces them to get used to that because there is going to be picking up with small dogs. And if you said, where do you get in a bind with that? Um, if you have to pick them up and they don't want to get picked up and you can't hold on to them, you know, and they're wiggling out of your arms. But I think people go wrong by picking them up, trying to pet them and do stuff. But she's definitely fights. But what, what you want to do is, if you're picking them up, you're doing it as a function of you're just a car seat, basically. And I try to have a little command. Up, up. So she understands. You know, that I'm just transporting her. I'm not trying to pet her or anything. Oh, my hands are, and then I'm very deliberate about how I set her down, and then I'm gone. The car is gone. You know, but what you don't want is one that when you pick it up, because that's handling in general. Oh, wiggling, fighting you, biting at your hands, trying to get away. Blah, blah, blah. All right, you guys. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys like that, and I have got to go get Mavis out real quick.